going to make French onion soup with beef short ribs. And we're gonna use Vidalia onions because now they're in season. They arrived, uh, they're fresh from Georgia. Now this might not be the most uh, eco-friendly uh, food chain in the world to, uh, to bring onions from as far away as we possibly can in the United States here. But, you know, I think the result is gonna be worth it. So, to start with, we are going to slow cook the short ribs uh, for eight hours. I have two and a half pounds of short ribs. You want two and a half to three pounds. And they're just gonna go in the slow cooker with uh, about a third of a cup of chopped parsley, fresh from the garden a couple of sprigs of rosemary, uh, that was thyme I put in there, and, a, and rosemary, uh, two bay leaves, two tablespoons of soy sauce, this is uh, cooking in the morning, you don't usually see that here at the uh, shack, but since this has to go all day and then I have to do some things with it. We're getting an early start. So I have here um, six cups of bone broth, beef bone broth. You look around at recipes for French onion soup and most of them say, oh, you can't get good beef broth, so use chicken broth. Um, but I made this bone broth and this is just gonna really elevate this dish so yeah, if you can find good beef broth, that's the trick. So this is going to go on low and it's gonna cook away for eight hours and then we'll come back and uh, deal with it. All right, our short ribs have been cooking for eight hours in the slow cooker and uh, we're gonna wind this up for today, removing them and letting them cool. We'll take the meat off these. I don't know where to focus. This is a good place. And we're gonna strain the broth and refrigerate that overnight. And I just add, oh, there's some uh, bay leaves and time if we can find those and get them out of there otherwise we'll get them with the strainer oh this is definitely done boy fall apart fall apart short ribs beautiful i think that's most of the good stuff out of there so we'll see what uh what occurs in the strainer here Yeah, I knew it was the right size. <laughs> yeah, we had a little discussion about this. You were right, my boys. Oh yeah, oh, look, look I didn't leave any meat behind. Just a little bit of parsley. That's all that's left in here. That's perfect. Look at that. So we'll refrigerate this overnight and uh, the idea here is that we are going to take the uh, fat off the top of this so that we don't have that fat in our French onion soup. But this is the bone broth with extra juice added from the short ribs. Man, this is gonna be fantastic. So we'll, uh, we'll check it out tomorrow and see what we got. All right, so short ribs, there's a lot of like fat and gristle involved here. And we really don't want any of that in our soup. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm taking the good meat off the, uh, off the uh, fat and getting rid of the fat as much as possible. And any pieces of gristle that join it all together, if I can, this is not a very good example, but see like this, Get that, there's good meat, but here it's just all this 
stuff that you really would not want a big mouthful of. So this is kind of important to get this out of our uh, soup. And yeah, see, I can peel this piece of gristle off of this. And there you have a nice little cube of meat. It'd be great in a ramekin. This is, look at this, there's a little tiny bit of meat in here. And the rest of it's all just fat. This cow should have gone on a diet. It probably wasn't actually a cow. No? A pretend cow? <laughs> Not a mama. Oh, yeah, chances are. Yeah, okay, so see here, there's, here's a big piece of stuff that you can't really chew. Get that off of there. Nobody wants to eat that stuff anyway. No, and we've we're looking at some pretty good meat. That's the thing about short ribs. The, the meat part is just totally fabulous. But they have all this extra. And it really behooves one to just slow cook it so you can get this extra stuff off. Is behooves a... a pun? Behoove? Yeah. Pun intended. <laughs> um, yeah. There you go. So I'll keep working on this and we'll just have meat by tomorrow. Look at the pile. There's probably less meat than uh, waste oh, yeah, on this particular sure. cut, but the meat is so tender. That's why it's worthwhile. It's reminding me of a really well cooked chuck roast. Okay, there you have it. Look at that. The waste is the same size as the. Uh, desirable meat but uh, at least now we don't have to refrigerate so much we'll come back tomorrow and make our french onion soup it'll be great so this is the next day our beef broth is chilling in the fridge and it's time to get our onions going so i have here five vidalia onions and one regular yellow onion the adding um, a, another kind of onion just kind of increases the um, flavors that are going to be happening in this uh, soup. So the only other things we're going to need for this is some fresh thyme, just picked from the garden, and some sherry. So I'm going to peel these and I'm going to slice them on the mandolin and then we'll come back and get to cooking them. Okay, now to caramelize our onions. The mandolin made short work of these puppies and they're all just nicely chopped up. And I've got an entire cube of butter melted in my pan. And we are just going to very low and slow caramelize these onions. It's gonna take about three hours. And in this, during this process, you really have to check and stir a lot and uh, if it starts to dry out too much, you may need to add some water, just a little bit. But uh, we're gonna get this whole pot of onions to caramelize. And uh, it's gonna, it's really gonna make a delicious thing. So, uh, you know, we've been, uh, we've been dieting a little, so now I fit into my old tie-dye shirts again. So um, I, chose this spoon today because it goes with my tie-dye <laughs> shirt. And there you have it. This is going to take me all afternoon and uh, we'll uh, see what it ends up looking like. So this has been cooking for an hour. You can see all this liquid is coming out of these onions. Uh, very wet still. So this is the beef broth that's been in the fridge. It's got this uh, <laughs> really pretty layer of fat on it, but we're gonna get rid of the, that fat because we don't want it in our soup. So I'm just gonna work the fat off of this and we'll have a nice clear broth. Um, and also I added some salt and pepper to the onions 
uh, yeah, It'd be good to season them, you know, get them a little flavor. All right, so I'm gonna get the rest of this fat off of here. And, um, all right, we've made it to the two hour mark. You can see this is just really, really soupy. I'm cooking it with the lid off now for a while. Um, but wow, this is just really reduced nicely. The, a lot of liquid came out of there. Uh, it's looking beautiful. Uh, let it go for at least another hour and a half. All right, so we're getting kind of close to uh, ready to assemble this dish. I buttered some pieces of uh, a lovely uh, baguette. I've cut my gruyere and I've shredded some uh, um, gouda. Gouda, yeah, shredded some gouda. Um, Gruyere would be the traditional cheese to use in this dish, and uh, I was reading something about mixing these two cheeses in a French onion soup, and it sounded really good to me, so I'm doing it. And there you have it. So, on the stove, I've got our um, short ribs with a little bit of the beef broth, and I'm just warming them up because when I assemble the dish, I don't want everything to be cold. And likewise, I'm gonna take my beef broth Oh, back over here again. And I am going to, let's do this over the sink, just for fun. Um, I'm going to warm this up. And uh, to it, I am going to add three quarters of a cup of a very good red wine. This happens to be a Dry Creek Zinfandel. Um, oh, so you didn't really drink the whole bottle? No. <laughs> I had to open it. <laughs> Yeah, you, you know, and it. once it's open, geez, you gotta drink it. <laughs> um, so, I'm gonna warm this up just slow. I, you know, I just want it to be warm when I add it to my onions. Now, here's the thing about the onions this has been going for uh, almost four hours, and it's finally starting to dry out and, and brown up a little bit. Um, I had to turn it up. But just all that moisture, and that may be the Vidalia onions that have a lot more moisture. But uh, yeah, this is taking a while. But it's now starting to happen. And we'll see this turn a little browner and uh, lose more of its moisture. And then we're going to combine the broth with this uh, and our sherry and our thyme. thyme leaves and so we'll uh we'll come back when it's time to do all that all right so i have had these onions working for over four hours now and it's finally getting to where i want it to be look at this they turned brown there's a little bit of a scraping up off the bottom to do this is what it's supposed to look like, folks, and it looks really good. So what we're going to do, I, I won't bang this, um, <laughs> so we are going to add yeah, I'm gonna come over here, so. our beef broth. I can't, I don't think I can pour that way. So it's just going in like this. We're going to add our beef broth. And we are going to add our sherry. and our thyme. And this is gonna, I'm gonna let this come back to a boil and then we're gonna um, cook it at a low, not, not, I don't want it to be a rolling boil or anything. We're gonna cook this all together for like 30 minutes and let it get all married and then we'll assemble our bowls. All right, it's time to assemble our French onion soup. First thing we're gonna do, so you'll see in here I have shredded the uh, short ribs, right? And they're in there with a uh, three quarters of a cup of the beef broth. And I'm gonna put them in the bottom of the bowl in preparation for le soup. Yes. So uh, these, are, these bowls are great they're deep so i can put i can really put quite a bit of the short rib in there and 
All right, yeah, I'm liking this. This is gonna be wonderful. So the other consideration here is, I don't know what I would do with leftovers, so we have to use it all. So we try and, uh... oh, by the way, you'll notice there's three bowls. This is the first time in well over a year that we've been able to have company. So I'm cooking for company, and that's what I like to do. Vaccinated so company. I am very, very happy about this, and so happy that I even made a des dessert. We have a blueberry tart for dessert. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy about that. So in the bottom of our bowls, we put our short rib and then we fill the bowl up with our delicious onion soup mm. oh man okay so that's a, that's a thing right there let me tell you mm. So I'm gonna, um, if I get a chance, which I think I'm going to, I'm gonna add a couple, at least one more scoop to these bowls. I just want it to kind of come out even. Yeah, so here we go. Ow! I had my, <laughs> my thumb in the soup. I'm not supposed to do that. Okay, so I think any any more than that is overkill. So let's bring over our bread. Buttered bread. I buttered this baguette. And it gets to sit on top of this. Look at that. That is special. And then we need our cheese. So I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of this shredded Gouda underneath. Um, shredded cheese, guaranteed to melt. And then I'm gonna put, I don't know how to do this. This is gonna be tricky. This is the uh, Gruyere. Not nearly enough. Oh, wait. This is going to work out really well. Look at that. Solid little sheet of Gruyere that goes across the top there. And then I have more Gouda to do the, I'm full the just whole looking top at it. with. This is going to be great. Okay, that's gonna be great. So this is going into a 400 degree oven. And I'll tell you later how long it took. <laughs> yeah, you always say it and we have to go longer. What we're trying to do is uh, melt this cheese, of course. And uh, these are Fiesta Ware bowls and we can't put them under the broiler. So what I would do is I would cook this for 10 minutes or so melt the cheese, and then I'd stick it under the broiler. But we don't have ramekins that can sit on, under the broiler. So I'm gonna use a torch to just blacken the top. So we'll see how that goes. What could possibly go wrong? So I believe these have been in here for uh, 10 minutes or so. I forgot to set the timer, but the important thing is, look, the cheese is melted. Everything is uh, 
ooey gooey looking and which is proper and what we were hoping for. Uh, the only thing left to do to these beautiful dishes is to put them under the broiler. But since it's a fire and light, or fiesta. come on, since it's <laughs> fiesta wear, we can't put it under the broiler. So we're going to just add a little bit of a darken, maybe crispy to the top with a torch. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. Look at that. See the cheese all sizzling and starting to move around. That's perfect. Ah. It kind of blisters. Jeez, it's great. I have to use this more often. I had a great idea. You did have a great idea. Okay, there we go. So, uh, what can I say? Uh, man, that looks great. It really does, doesn't it? Um, so, this is our uh, onion soup with uh, short ribs. And thanks for watching Two Cooks in the Kitchen, and we'll see you next time.